What's going on, people? This is your boy, Ron B coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, in Uptown, and welcome to this week's edition of Ron's Rants. Before we get started, let me go ahead and introduce to y'all the drink of the week. The drink of the week is one I like to call the Caramel Surprise. It's a little French vanilla Ciroc mixed with Dr. Pepper and fresh lime to keep away, to take away some of that sweetness. But that is not why we are here. We are here for this week's topic. And this week's topic is do it once, do it twice. Now you labor. Yeah, you labor. This week's topic uh, stems from the comments that Tank made in an interview from the video that uh, popped off this week. Uh, some of the comments that he made and now everybody wants to give this man a label. Now, in that video, I didn't hear Tank say not one time that that's what the hell he has done. He said that the man said that he did it, he didn't like it, and so, but he don't consider himself gay. So, but you know how society is. We, we ready for the label. We like to label everything, especially when it comes to the to gay. We like to label everything gay. In the black community, the black community has been labeling everything since we started calling friends and relatives and giving them nicknames like Junebug, Ray Ray and Kiki, because that's just what the hell we do. We like to label everything. But why do we like to label everything? Why do y'all like to label everything? Because, probably because you're too uh, uncomfortable with your own sorry ass life and you don't have nothing else to do, so you're just standing back waiting with the stamp. A black man can't even take two showers in a day in a hot summer. Oh, you take two showers in a day? Oh, we're going to label it. Oh, he got on nice shoes. Oh, he got the leg. Now, because he don't want to, even with the shower piece, because he don't want his ass to be stinking. He want to wash his ass. You can't even wash your ass unless you got to be labeled. Oh, he got nice shoes on. Well, guess what? He don't want to walk around with shoes that look like he been running a drink on marathon. Run over shoes. Who, who the hell doing that? You can't even be, you can't even control, have a drip to control when you got on run over shoes. And we all know that. But like I said, anything the male do, especially the black male, is automatically labeled. Because that's what the hell my people do. I always got to label something. Like they don't do shit. Y'all don't do shit, do you? Y'all done done so much shit, but then get offended when somebody label you. You know? How the hell are you offended because somebody labeled you? Huh? How are you offended? Some of y'all have done things once, twice, but you still don't want it to be labeled. Y'all do all types of shit. That don't make sense, but you still don't want to be labeled. For example, some of y'all tried to go on a diet a couple of times. Nobody labeled you, but you don't want nobody you, you, Clearly, you ain't labeled skinny. We can't call you skinny. Because you did it for two days and now you gave up. We can't do that. You got that new gym membership for the New Year's for Japan for, for the whole year. But your sorry ass never went to the gym. You went once or twice. But we can't label you skinny. Some of y'all people that go to church twice a year. Y'all go to church, what, Mother's Day and Easter. Can we label you as a Christian? Oh, you've No, it's him. Church is him. No, really. That's what y'all doing. Some of y'all walk here lying trying to be vegan. You, ve you eat vegan two or three times a day. Some of y and, and the thing that gets me with the whole vegan thing, y'all actually can't even spell vegan. How, how y'all spell vegan is chicken wing, pizza, and beer. That's how the hell y'all uh, spell vegan. But you eat two vegan meals per week, but you label. Even with me, how I eat, people want to label me. I tell people, I don't eat meat. Oh, you're a vegetarian. No, I'm not a vegetarian. Yes, you are. No, well, you must be vegan. No, I'm not vegan. I eat a little fish every now. Oh, you Presbyterian? No, I don't even go to church, so I ain't Presbyterian. Pescatarian? Uh, not pre. You missed the joke. Sorry, I'm I'm sorry. You missed the joke. Okay, because how I eat is how the hell I eat. I don't need no label for how I eat. I eat mostly plant based. Oh, I don't need that. Some of y'all out here doing drugs. Y'all done tried drugs and crack and cocaine and everything a couple of times. But guess what? Ain't nobody label you no crackhead. You, you can't call you no crackhead. Cause why? Cause guess what? I only did crack one or two times. You can't call me no crackhead, man. I was going through some things. 
Oh, really? You were going through some things. Some of y'all got on back of wigs with your labor tucked in, and you still don't want us to, to labor your ass bald headed, but you got your wig on because you can't even grow no hair. It ain't enough fertilizer in your follicles to make you get no hair, but you don't want us to label you as bald head. But you got your your wig on with your tag, which is your label, tucked under your wig because your raggedy, dirty ass want to take the wig back because you might not want to keep the wig, so you want to take the wig back. Because that's what y'all do. Always got a label for something. Why is that? Why we got to label everything? Huh? Some of y'all do some crazy shit, but you don't want no label for it. But as soon as you come back, there's a label for the black man when it comes around to putting that label of gay attached to it. I done seen a whole lot of shit in comments on social media this week alone that has been hilarious. Y'all funny as hell. Y'all dumb as hell, too. I saw one comment, you know. Brother said he was gay. I said, oh, okay, cool. He said, now, I done slept with a few women. I done slept with about six, seven women a couple of times. He said, does that make me straight? Point taken. But according to y'all, if he did it once, he did it twice. Boom. He got the damn label. What type of shit is that? Huh? That's just crazy. Then I had this one fool. She about the dumbest person in the world. I can't even explain how dumb she is. Usually, when I say, go find the edge of earth, take somebody with you so they can push your ass off the edge of earth because you that dumb. No, I'm not even going to give her that. She's so damn dumb, she need to go off on her own and find the edge of earth and jump her dumb ass off. This fool said she hates spaghetti, but she eats spaghetti. But she don't consider herself a spaghetti lover because she eats spaghetti. Now, her dumb ass probably make a whole pot of spaghetti enough to last her for a whole week. She probably eating off of spaghetti every single day for a week. But according to her dumb ass, she don't like spaghetti. But in the case of what Tank said, because it makes the label put on him. She don't want nobody to label her as a spaghetti lover, but she out there ready to label because he did it more than one. He only did it, the person that he was talking about did it twice. Now you eat spaghetti every week, but you ain't no spaghetti lover. How dumb do you sound? You need to go find the edge of earth by yourself. I don't even want nobody to push your stupid ass. You just need to jump. Take a whole leap. Not even a leap of faith. Just a leap of dumb ass. Because that's what the hell you are. A dumb ass. Out here doing stupid shit. And then you got that other dumb ass. Always making the stupidest comments. Talking about he need to come out the closet. Well... If you're the closet keeper, you control who come in and out of the closet. Why are you so damn concerned? Again, you that same dumbass. And there's some other dumbasses out there. And the dumbass that get me the most is the one that talking about they got gay dog. Hmm? You got what? You got gay dog. What that mean? It's like a radar where I can spot and find out and figure who gay. If you spotting and looking for gay people, does that make you gay? Why would you need to look for gay people unless you're trying to find people with likeness to yourself? Hmm? I mean, if I had a ra for example, if a cop is looking for speeders, he got a radar to detect speeders. If you got a gay dog, that means you're looking for gay people. For what? Why is you looking for gay people? You need, you need to find them? Huh? What that say about you? I don't know. I ain't looking for them. I don't need to know where they at. I ain't mad at them, so, but, but you looking for them. So what you looking for them for? You trying to find out where you need to be, have good company at? You need to know where, where you are and who you, you need to make sure you with your people. Is that what you're doing? Is that why you got a, a, a gay dog? 
I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just saying, yeah, you, yeah, you, that's dumb shit too. You just go, you go on with the other food. Y'all go together and jump together. Hold hands. Go find the edge of the earth. Hold damn hands and both of y'all jump together because y'all some dumb asses. Stop doing and talking about dumb shit. Quit it. Now, I'm going to tell you, some of y'all done sold drugs, but you don't want nobody to call you no dope dealer. That man, that was back in my, my day. That was 20 some years ago. I would give my life right. I ain't know what I, But you ready to label somebody for something else. Why? Because y'all uncomfortable with your own raggedy shit and so ready to judge somebody. Stop judging people. Leave these people alone. They, are they bothering you? Whatever a person want to do, that's their damn business. Let them do it. They can do it and don't have to have no label. Now, I know some of y'all, well, the definition of gay, if a man get with a man, blah, 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 blah. Well, usually, if a person gay, he want to be with a man and he want to continue to be with a man. So, but y'all on that bullshit, as you are all of the time. Now, I'm not defending nothing. So don't take and say, oh, Ron's me out here defending. No, I'm just letting y'all know how full of shit y'all are and how dumb y'all sound. And stop trying to put a label on a male, especially a black male, for every freaking situation that you find. Because that's how y'all stupid asses do. Because you have nothing going on for yourself. You raggly, you lazy, you sitting your raggly sorry ass around with nothing to do but sitting around. If you sitting around waiting to put a label on somebody, that means you got too much damn time on your hand. Find something else to focus on. Focus on you. Ask yourself why you haven't started your damn business. Is it too busy because you worried about what somebody else got going on? That's probably what it is. That's a whole nother damn rant in itself. But listen, the moral of the story is leave people the hell alone. Let people do whatever the hell they do. Stop judging people. Stop trying to put a tag on people because you don't want a tag put on you. Let people do whatever the fuck it is that they want to do in their life. Why are you concerned? You shouldn't be. Focus on yourself. I tell people all the time. I spend six months of the year tending to my own business. And I spend the other six months of the year leaving other people's business the fuck Alone, and that's what some of y'all trifling asses need to do too. Again, this has been Ron B coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, in Uptown. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment on this video. And just remember, your social media posts or your comment just might become one of Ron's rants. We got to go. I got to pay some bills. Y'all be good. Peace out.